In this video, I'm going to talk about how to estimate credit approval with logistic model. When you apply for a loan, for example, a mortgage or a credit card, usually company will use your credit score to evaluate your request. They will either approve or reject your request based on your credit score mainly. But they also consider other factors, for example, your income, your family, and other factors. This is the distribution about the credit score according to FICO. For example, about 20% of people belong to this exceptional category with a credit score from 800 to 850. 16% of people belong to this very poor category with credit score 300 to 579. For example, if you have a credit score, for example, it's 800, when you apply for a credit card or loan, most likely you will get approved, but uh, it's not 100% guaranteed. When you have a credit score, say about 570, and when you apply for a credit card or loan, most likely you will be rejected, but also you have a little chance to get approved. So how can we estimate the probability you get approved or you get rejected? Many people are familiar with linear model. On this graph, the x-axis we show the independent variable and the y-axis we show the dependent variable. You can see when the independent variable increase, the dependent variable also increase. So the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable is linear. When we consider our current question, the credit card application or loan application, the outcome it's binary. It's either approved or rejected. So the dependent variable is not continuously distributed between 0 and 1, but it's either 1 or it's 0. So in this case, we cannot use linear model, because if we use linear model, we can draw a line like this. But it doesn't make sense because the outcome is binary. It's either 1 or it's 0. In this case, we use logistic regression model. In this model, we can see we can draw a line to show the probability of the outcome between 0 and 1. And when our credit score is high, this means in this region, we have a high probability to get approved, but not 100% guaranteed. In order to build my model, because I can't use the actual data, I just use Excel generated some dummy data with beta distribution. So what is beta distribution? Beta distribution is a continuous probability distribution have two parameters. On this graph, for example, if alpha equal to 3, beta equal to 8, and then it shows a probability like this, it's more lean against 0. And when alpha 
equal to 8 and beta equal to 3 and the distribution more lean towards 10. In this model, if the credit score is low, we use distribution like this. So it has low probability to get approved. When the credit score is high, we use this distribution, means most likely the application will get approved. Now let's go to the Excel to see what I did. Now let's generate the dummy credit score and approval result for our customers. First, I put five categories of the credit scores here with the low credit score and the high credit score. And also I put percentage for each category based on statistics. Let's consider 200 customers. With this total number, we can calculate how many customers we have for each category. And here, I defined alpha and beta for our, our beta distribution. For example, for very poor category, I put alpha 2 and beta 8. And then I generate the path of fail of the approval result with some random number. So every time when we refresh this spreadsheet, we can get a different result. For example, let's check this result. With this result, you can see, even in category very poor, we still have one customer got approved. And with exceptional category, all the customers got approved. But in this very good category, we have several customers got rejected. After I generated this dummy data, I just copy the data to another spreadsheet. And then I list all the customers' credit score and application result here. Now you can see this is the result of the credit score and application result for our 200 customers. If we draw a graph about our results, we can see the 200 customers they have the result either approved or rejected with their credit score respectively. As I mentioned before, it's hard for us to draw a line to show the linear regression on this graph. That's why we use logistic regression. In order to use logistic regression, if you use Excel, you can go to Insert, Store, and then if you type in Excel Miner, search for it, you can find Excel Miner analyzes 2-pack here. 
and you can add to your Excel and it is free after you add this on the right side of the Excel spreadsheet you can see it shows logistic regression under linear regression and then you can input the Y range here so in our case the Y range is on the S column from S1 to S201 Let's use 95% confidence interval and output this result in cell U8. After you run logistic regression, you can get a result like this. I can copy the result to another spreadsheet to keep it. Now you can see with this logistic regression formula, we have A in this cell B12 here and we have B in this cell B13. And if we calculate A plus BX, which X means the credit score, we can get this number. For example, if we have a credit score 500, we have this A plus BX with minus 3.79. And this P shows if the customer will get approved with the application. So here, if we put the formula calculation in this cell, the P will equal to 2.2% with a credit score 500. For example, if you have a credit score 700, and then the probability your application got approved will be 52.44%. If you have a very high credit score, for example, 850, you will have a probability to get approved with 95.33%. That says most likely you will get approved with your application, but not 100% guaranteed. This is how we can estimate credit approval with logistic model. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.